My name is Diane Buzibiba and I am the Managing Director of Amadeus UK and Ireland. I joined the professional workforce back in 1981 where I was um, responsible for the export department of a towel factory. Um, I could say I was the director of the export department because I was the only one in there. And basically then I was um, building on my French knowledge and helping a, a local Manchester company um, export into France. Um, I then moved to North Africa, um, worked there for five years, um, then worked in Paris. Joined Amadeus as a technology um, company in 2001. So it's been a multicultural, multi-language um, journey into technology. I have to admit, in, in that time I had my own business. I had a, 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 my own business for eight years. And I think the thread that goes through all my career is that I'm constantly challenging myself. Constantly, I love change and the, um, the drive that that gives you. And if I look at when I entered Amadeus in 2001, I just found a fantastic um, company, first of all, but also a fantastic industry that allows you to do a lot of different things. So I've been with Amadeus now for 11 years. Started off as a consultant in technology solutions, listening to customers, asking questions, constantly asking questions. Um, I've moved through several posts. I've been responsible for hotel programs. And recently, before coming to the UK, I was responsible for the Global Rail program. Um, questioning going out on, onto the terrain, I've had some fantastic experiences. Um, if I can just tell you a little anecdote, going through um, Egypt on, on a train, analysing the technology needs of this railway, and meeting people that are selling tickets, are looking after customers on trains. And we were looking at the back office of the railway and how we could improve their technology. So I visited a station and the technology being implemented at that time was a cardboard box with money in it behind the ticket station. So how could we evolve that technology to something more modern was the basic problem statement that we were looking at. And I love it. I really love it. So Amadeus is a um, global technology company. We are based in three main sites. Our head office is in Madrid. Our data center, which is the largest privately owned data center, is in Erding near Munich. And our development center is down in the south of France, which is where I was until I arrived here a year ago, um, just behind uh, Nice uh, on the south coast there. Um, we have four regional offices in Miami, Bangkok, Dubai and Buenos Aires. We have um, 195 local offices um, around the world. And Amadeus really leverages the global yet yeah, local um, positioning of, of a technology provider. Um, Amadeus IT Group is split into three uh, main business areas, so distribution, where we are connected and are connecting the main uh, travel providers, travel sellers, and indeed the end traveler through the corporations to an electronic marketplace. There is air, rail, I'm proud to say, um, hotel content, tour operator, air airport transfers, local train content. Um, the second business area is our um, travel IT area where we are handling the transactions um, from the world's major airlines. We have 140 of the world's airlines holding their inventory in our system and we handle check-in for them, baggage handling, um, balance, load balancing on the flights, etc. And the third area is our new business area. And these are um, areas where we believe that the technology value um, of Amadeus can help those businesses um, automate their processes, but also um, help the other travel sellers that are, are um, linked into our, our system. And I think if you look at trying to make all this in, in a very simple sentence, I think Amadeus is an electronic marketplace where travel sellers, 
travel providers and that ecosystem of other players such as airports, baggage handlers, railway stations can transact and put services in front of the traveller. And as we know today this electronic marketplace is getting smaller by the minute. So this is what Amadeus does. In the UK there are approximately 600 people working um, for Amadeus in the UK. We have a base at Heathrow and we have a base at Gatwick and we are looking after the travel sellers in this market in the UK and Ireland. As a public listed company Amadeus really encourages the global and local working together. So my position previously was in a global role, I am now in a local role and we're articulating our offer as we go forward around really four pillars. How can we ensure that our customers succeed in travel through being better connected? So this better connected idea runs through the range of content that we can connect to our customers, to the thought leadership that we can bring into this market through our connections around the world. So being better connected is, is one of the key themes that we're following in the UK. The second key theme is, is all about smarter technology. Now, I showed you the, uh, the, uh, the mobile phone earlier. What Amadeus is doing, we're investing 13% of our top line revenues in technology. We are the top investor in technology in the travel and tourism industry and we are encouraging an ecosystem of innovators that work around our core technology. Um, I had the pleasure of hosting a VIP event in September of last year in London. We did another VIP event in Glasgow last year and during those events we were looking at how open systems can um, encourage innovation in the travel industry. Now what do I mean by open systems? There are several levels. We are the leader in moving away from legacy technology, uh, transaction-based mainframes, into open source, where we're a regular contributor to the open source uh, community. And we have opened our system not just to the API development community, we've been doing that for the last 10 years, but moving forward, we are actually putting software code into the open source community so that people can, around the world, build innovation on top of our, of our, of our systems. The third area where we are really concentrating, and particularly in the UK, is on superior service. I have been thrilled to see that in an independent customer satisfaction survey last year, um, Amadeus UK and Ireland scored 27% higher than our nearest rival in terms of service to our, to our customers. Um, help desk, training are very, very important to us. But we have, in the UK, we've taken it a step further. Um, I've set up a, a consulting team that sits with customers. We have state of the nation meetings where we're looking at how customers' business will evolve over the next three to five years and how we can help them do that and we're using our considerable connections in the industry to bring in other third parties that may be able to help also. The fourth pillar, the final one, is all about listening. Um, it's, I've been in the role for a year now and I've gone through several pairs of shoes because I've met 175, over 175 customers in their locations listening to their business. I'm basically asking them three questions. How is your business doing? How can we help? And where can we improve? And I've been amazed at how open customers are to sharing details and allowing us to help them succeed in travel. So I think uh, basing, basing our uh, premise on that customer satisfaction survey, I think uh, Amadeus seems to be uh, working very well with customers, but it's tough. So from a business traveler point of view, I think the, the big challenge that our customers are telling us is balancing the cost of business travel management against 
the, the absolute requirement from the business traveller for convenience, for flexibility, and it's this constant dilemma um, between cost management, cost optimization, and the traveller needs. Um, obviously, with the third kingpin being the technology that facilitates that or the solving of that dilemma. When we look at the business traveller today, um, and Amadeus has just published, in fact, a, uh, a survey on the 21st century business traveller, um, we see that there are trends that are merging the business traveller and the leisure traveller. So business travellers are expecting the same sets of information that they would see as a leisure traveller and vice versa. We're seeing that there is a, an, an absolute strong push for flexibility, for total TLC around me as a, as a road warrior. And having been a road warrior for many years, I know what that means. Um, we're also seeing, from a technology point of view, a wish for, from travel management companies and also from corporations for, um, how can I say, traveller tracking um, technology that allows the duty of care to be put right at the forefront of the agenda. So there's a kind of, on the business travel side, there's a kind of squeezing right now between cost and flexibility, and we believe that technology can help that. On the leisure side, we have seen an absolute exponential increase in the um, requirement for flexible search. We, on the leisure side, you no longer want to go from A to B. You want to be inspired. You want to, uh, to, to, to know all the information about your trip along the journey. Um, and we believe that the big winners in the market and there are some huge winners in the market, are those travel agencies, travel sellers, that are converting themselves into consultants, having the technology to be one step ahead of that traveler need um, to actually build services around that. So what does this mean for Amadeus? It means that by working very, very closely with our customers, understanding their business drivers and understanding how the technology can help that, we have signed 75 new customers in the last 12 months, uh, including Virgin Holidays, Low Cost Holiday Group, um, and many smaller agencies that are adapting to this new, uh, new landscape where service is at the, the heart of everything that they do. If you think right now there are a million air passengers in the air as we speak right now, and the, a significant majority of those will have touched the Amadeus system at some point during that journey, either through their search, through their reservation, or, or a touch point in the airport. I think the challenge for the industry is to pull together all of this data to have one single repository of the traveller data um, as he or she goes, goes throughout their, their journey. And increasingly, this journey will be multimodal, so different forms of transport. And if you take that, uh, an example, you can start in Sydney in Australia, go to the north of Australia by train using Amadeus technology, hop over into Asia, hop around Asia on low-cost carriers, then maybe take a cruise somewhere. The traveller is wanting to do that, and I think the challenge for the industry right now from a technology point of view, is to bring that data into one single repository and enable that passenger to be serviced at whatever touch point they, they wish to have. I think the second challenge is how to harness the power of user-generated content. So in the leisure sphere, we have um, the trip advisors of this world that, that people are increasingly looking to for opinion. We're now seeing that in the business area, where traditionally you would ask a colleague where they stayed in a hotel. This is now becoming more formalised. But how can the travel industry actually harness this through all the channels, through social media, through mobile apps, whatever means, how can the travel industry harness this to, again, put more service um, for that traveller throughout the whole itinerary that, that they have? If there is one issue I think that the travel industry needs to, uh, to address together, it is if we look at this ever-empowered traveller, 
um, I think that the, we all have value add at each stage of that traveller journey and it's, it's how we collaborate together in a really customer centric way um, going forward. Those that, that don't do that um, I think are missing a trick somewhere so if there is, ooh, if there is one area that, that I think we, we could maybe articulate better is how do we work together to satisfy this, uh, this ever empowered traveller. The quotation that change is the only constant is, is ever more powerful now and that change is accelerating. So I think somebody coming into the industry has to be ready to listen, to be very flexible, to multitask. Multitasking is now the, the absolute norm. And I think the, the, the other piece of advice I have is wherever you're placed in a role, really show yourself as, as doing the very best you can very best you can and I think the travel industry actually offers many many opportunities um, to manage change if you're looking for a dynamic technology based industry the, the the travel industry is a fantastic one and I think going forward this need for flexibility is going to be even stronger but first of all I am a declared workaholic I do take time to wind down when I'm on holiday um, and I must admit through my job I visited many many places through 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 work I absolutely adored um, when I visited Rio de Janeiro I thought it was a fantastic place um, and as I'm getting older I like being pampered <laughs>